And there you go. That's the song that you just heard by the band that just played it. And we're going to move on to our next. <laughs> oh, I can't say that. Oh, do that have to thing be more with those specific. guys over there again. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> Yes, friends, it's one of those days. Seriously, that's a band called Ambulance, and we want to thank Richie and the guys for dropping by, sharing the uh, their story and their music. You can find them online, as he explained to you, and we hope you do, as we encourage our listeners to always go to the band's websites, to their pages online, and uh, talk with them, interact with them. They'd love to hear from you because, let's face it, satisfying your musical needs is what keeps them going and uh, they love to hear from you so by all means stay in touch with all of our groups especially the ones that uh, you know really push that button for you and we're hoping that uh, the acts you hear today uh yeah, maybe you'll find one of your new favorite acts with us like this next one coming up right now waiting in the wings is a guy by the name of quentin hockaday who's going to talk to us all about a band called dress here they are with just a thought. And there you have it, Just a Thought by Drez. And here to join us and talk about the band and uh, all they've got going on uh, is a gentleman by the name of Quentin Hockaday. Quentin, come on in here. Say hello to everybody. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? This is Quentin. Doing great. Glad to have you here with us today. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you to all the guys in the band. Uh, I know it's a, a team effort. Tell us a little bit about Dress. 
Uh, so we're a local band out of Houston, and we've been um, making a couple songs. We've been putting out a couple videos. We are um, we started off at Three Piece, started off in a garage, and we just started building from there. Now we have a new bass player, we have a drummer, and we're ready to go, getting new music out. Well, now, I, I, can't, I can't let this slide by because uh, when I was talking to John, I noted to him that uh, you guys are from, uh, from Houston, Texas, here in the United States. And the uh, band we just had is from uh, Surrey, from London, England. And, uh, well, ac- we just noticed that uh, your accent doesn't sound like a Texas accent. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what? You know, everyone thinks Texas. There's a tons of different accents for Texans. I know we were we were talking with John, and he has a decidedly British accent. And uh, I, I I guess now did he tell me you were from uh, the other side of the pond also? No, actually, we have a bass player that's over there. We're ah, all of us okay. are based out of uh, Texas. Ah, okay, all right, that explains it. Our and bass player originated uh, in London, England. That's right, where he came from. He came to live in Florida for a little bit, and then we found him when he moved to Houston. Ah, there you go. Okay, now I understand. I know uh, John and I were talking about that, and I, I thought it was uh, kind of funny that, uh, you know, he's, he's from, uh, he was from Texas. As far as I knew, that was where he's from. And I, when I first talked to him, he had that decidedly British accent, and we chatted about that. Okay, now, you guys, uh, you guys have a nice sound uh, kind of a distinctive sound. It's it's something that you can be identified with. How did you uh, try to achieve that, or is that something that just naturally came to you? So uh, I feel like we're all pretty diverse in everything that we like. We all listen to different type of music. So whenever we came together, we would start off with um with a riff from our guitar player, and we had two guitars at the time, and. They would just throw something together, and I would listen to it, and I'd take it home, and I'd get to writing on it. And every time we would hear something that sounded too too normal, we would switch it up to make it more original, like dress, you know? Okay. Okay, I got that. Now, tell, tell us about the guys in the band. We've mentioned, we've mentioned John, we've mentioned your, uh, your drummer, but tell us about the, about the guys themselves so that everybody gets a fair shake here. Okay, so we have me. I'm the lead singer. I'm Quentin. And we have Chris as a guitar player. We have Brandon Pocketay as our synth player and also our rhythm guitar player. And then we have Michael Endong, who plays the bass, and he's originated from England. And then we have Jeremiah Sellers now on the drums. All right. Now, would I be correct that uh, Brandon and you are related? Yes, sir. That's my (laughs) blood brother. All righty. John Bon Jovi is sitting by here, and I know he likes to get in and uh, and discuss the technical aspects of it. Jump in here, John. Well, yeah, I, you know, I just uh, I'm, in, I'm enjoying the conversation. Uh, but, uh, uh, Quentin, I guess what I want to ask you is, you know, you mentioned that there's several different uh, Texas accents, but there's also several different types of Texas rock and roll. There's Texas country, Texas swing. Uh, do you guys get into, in addition to what, you know, we're playing here today, do you get into, uh, any of the, the other genres of, of what could be traditionally called Texas music? Um, I mean, it varies. It varies. We definitely have an album that's like extremely diverse and we've tried, we tried to touch everything, every different type of genre, you know, but keep it all as one, as a dress, you know, build up. But, um, I mean... There's, there's more music to come. We could be touching that. We haven't really touched it completely yet, you know? Uh, okay. And as far as uh, the evolution of the band, what did you guys start off as, and, and what kind of, uh, oh, I don't know, metamorphoses did you go through to get to where you are today? Um, okay, so I would say, I mean, coming from a musician, it's always hard to keep a bass player and a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so it started three piece start off with me, Chris, and Brandon, and uh, we started in the garage, and we ended up eventually finding a drummer, and we got that going. But I mean, it took us a while to stick with one drummer. There was always things coming in the way. I mean, there was school, jobs, parents, because we started off so young. But um, yeah, so it took us a while to find the right drummer. We've been through about six or seven, and then um, Michael, our bass player, he 
we found him through another band. We played a show with him. Uh, it was called Weekend Fire, I believe. And after they broke up, he came to hang out with us just to see what we were doing. And we were like, hey, we need a bass player. <laughs> and so he's been... Now, the, now the, 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 the current bass player that you have and the drummer that you have, is this now what is making the band gel and, and become successful? Or at least contributing yeah. toward that? So they definitely played a big role. So we were trying to do everything that we could, being a three-piece with in-and-out drummers. But um, whenever Michael came in, he came with so much dedication and so much like work ethic that he just started pushing so much for us. And then... When our new drummer, Jeremiah Sellers, came, he had social media down. So he awesome. started posting us more, started taking more pictures, and that's really what got us to pop. Well, that's that's good. Uh, every band should have somebody working with them uh, who can deal with social media because it's such a uh, it's such a crucial part of the uh, of the whole scheme these days i mean it's it's strange how it's evolved over the last 20 years but uh, it's become a critical part in marketing anything if you can't if you can't do social media you can't do and uh, that's a good thing that uh, uh, you've got somebody in the band who's familiar and, and can work social media for you now where where is dress playing now uh we've been playing all around houston but we've had we've had plenty of comments under under our post saying to come to the UK, come to England. I mean, the sooner we can, we'd be trying to tour everywhere. But right now, we're basically in Houston, Texas. We've been playing the venues down here. Well, you're going to get some uh, you're going to get some exposure over in merry old England uh, because we have a, we have a pretty dedicated following over there. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, our first artist that was on before you today uh, is with a band called Ambulance uh, from the London area. So uh, we know there's going to be some listeners in that area. And uh, who knows, you might get a shout from over on the other side. So uh, when this is playing, if any of uh, if any of the uh, booking agents and managers and uh, other agents over in the in the London uh, England area uh, like what they hear with the band called Dress. Uh, how are they going to find you? Uh, you can find us on Instagram at We Are Dress. You can find us on Facebook as well, Dress Official. And every time you type in Dress, there's an underscore after it. So we are Dress underscore. Right, and that's uh, Dress Dress with one S D R E S underscore. Yes, sir. Hey. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, now, what, where, what, what are your plans for the immediate future? I mean, you're obviously, all, all bands either evolve. 